is Ilke Besselmann and I am head of the Department of Climate Change and Sustainability in the county of Steinfurt. Furthermore, I am managing operator of a non-profit association which is called Energieland 2050 and a speciality with this association is that it was built and financed by the county itself its 24 municipalities and about 80 regional companies. And altogether, we try to manage the regional energy transition. And of course, one main topic um, is to develop um, our potential in concerning wind energy. Nowadays, we have about 300 windmills turning around. Um, the new renewables in total produce about 65% of electricity in our region and uh, this is quite more than average um, compared to North Rhine-Westphalia where we belong to or compared to um, the rest of Germany. We had little protest in total um, concerning wind energy and I think this is, um, this is uh, one, one one main reason is our, um, our strategy to develop uh, wind energy, which has its roots about 10 years ago. At that time, we started a stakeholder process because we realized that uh, some investors were um, interested to build their windmills coming from abroad, build their windmills, try to make first uh, contracts with our farmers and our idea was that we would like to keep the value added in our region and that we would like to um, uh, empower our farmers to, um, to, to do this um, business by themselves. So we started our process and I think four main uh, modules uh, belong to it. Uh, first of all, we installed a round, round table um, the most important stakeholders were part of this round, round table, which were of course the wind farmers, uh, the farmers, the land uh, owners themselves. Um, then Nature Conservancy was part of it, um, the banks, um, the, um, some mayors were uh, from, from municipalities uh, were participants, uh, the public utilities, utilities um, and so on. And, um, Second aspect was that we installed um, a project manager, we called it Service Point for Wind Energy. And this project manager supported the stakeholders and uh, was a consultant for everyone who was interested. Uh, and he also provided a kind of mediation for all people who were uh, perhaps critical against wind energy. Um, the third module was that we um, made an investigation for the potentials for wind energy in our region and um, this uh, analysis was kept secret in the beginning so that uh, at first we had a look at the, the situation then we um, showed the results to the farmers to nature conservancy stakeholders to the mayors but kept it um, kept it closed so that it, we, we could assure that only um, our stakeholders um, were owner of the knowledge where wind energy could be situated. Um, fourth, very important aspect was that the round table um, developed our guidelines for wind energy, for citizen um, wind energy, and these guidelines um, defined a kind of moral standard. Uh, so we said we are going to support only these wind parks who um, commit themselves to these guidelines. Um, just to give you a few examples, uh, which content they, were, uh, they had, it was like um, at least 25% of the equal capital, uh, the equity capital, sorry, um, has to belong to uh, the citizens um, or uh, not only the landowners but also the neighbors and um, in the end the whole city or municipality uh, should be um, should have the opportunity for financial participation and um, a low entrance level of about 1000 euro was defined um, 
All this together has worked very well. We have about 150 windmills now standing in about 30 wind parks, um, which um, have the kind of level of um, our guidelines. More than 4,000 people are involved uh, uh, as limited partners um, into these wind parks. Um, so nowadays we uh, face some more challenges because uh, we have a lot of windmills which uh, turn 20 years or older. So uh, the subsidies will end and uh, the owners um, will have to uh, decide what to do with the old windmills. Uh, sell the power like in PPA contracts or um, of course some of them would like to uh, repower their, their windmills and um, again we try to find the commitment that even the repowering is going to, um, to be done in respect for our guidelines. My summary, our main uh, factors for success uh, were the fact that we built a process of participation from the beginning on with all stakeholders and in quite a big um, transparency. Um, we focused our support um, that we only supported those uh, park, wind park owners or investors who committed to our guidelines. Um, of course, it was important that we started early enough so uh, 10 years ago it was probably much um, easier because it was the beginning of the wind energy than today so we started early enough with these developments and um, i think we have installed very good supportive structures so nowadays we have an expert team which are farmers themselves who have made their experiences in these citizen wind parks and uh, they are going to um, advise other uh, farmers who are interested in repowering or in even sometimes building new uh, windmills. Um, the next step will be that we plan to install a regional cooperative and uh, even widen the, the guidelines to TV projects. Thank you very much for the opportunity to explain our citizen energy structure which we have built in the recent 10 years in the county of Steinfurt. Um, I wish you good luck in, with your own, own projects and of course you may contact me in case you have some more questions.